Highly representative Manny Diaz doesn't seem to understand how irony works. Before becoming one of the most influential politicians in Tallahassee, Diaz had his $1.3 million debt discharged in bankruptcy court. His current six-figure salary is paid for by one of the largest charter school management companies in the state. In fact, a lot of Florida politicians are getting rich off the charter school industry. Now, deadbeat Diaz and his buddies at the House Majority Office have released a five-minute video accusing school districts of, get this, living beyond their means, comparing them to your deadbeat relative who keeps asking for money, then goes and wastes it on extras like counselors, teacher's aides, clerical staff, and nurses. The ad goes on to warn the viewer not to trust the Florida Association of District School Superintendents when they say this year's 47 cent increase in per pupil spending is causing critical financial distress to public education or the Florida Education Association when they say teachers can't afford to live here anymore and certainly not the newspapers when they say Florida K-12 spending is actually more than a thousand dollars below pre-recession levels. Let me break it down. The Republicans in the Florida legislature are saying school boards and superintendents, teachers, and the media all over the state are lying. And for people not to believe their eyes when they're presented with statistics showing how woeful education spending in Florida is and has been, everybody is a liar but them. The ad was released on the same day. 35 Democratic state legislators submitted a letter to the Secretary of State requesting a special legislative session be called to address the critical funding shortfalls, quote, that threaten the education and safety of our public school children. It's not the first time the House Majority Office uses taxpayer money to fund their partisan propaganda. During last year's legislative session, they ran a campaign to mislead the public about their education bill, transferring billions of dollars away from traditional public schools to their for-profit charters and private school vouchers. These are the same people who voted to arm teachers, decertify our unions, and to make it harder for cities and municipalities to fight the catastrophic effects of climate change. Facts matter. Elections matter. If you found this information helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.